what do you think is uh, the solution then? Let's say even for that three thousand. Uh, again, congratulations, like Mukamia said, picking hope the youngsters are doing well. Uh, mm -hmm. But what do you think? <coughs> sorry, big pardon. Is the solution? Uh, probably to give us context, uh, uh, Winnie will be giving us uh, uh, the graphic shortly to wrap it up how Team Kenya performed. But I'm looking at it on a two-course approach. One, is not the best of performance, as Mukami rightfully put it. And uh, last week we broke, uh, broke it down for mm -hmm. our viewers mm -hmm. uh, because in 2015 in London, we bagged 12 medals. Right. Then in uh, Doha 2019, it was 13. Mm -hmm. So we went up by one more, bagging one more uh, medal. But now look at, now this event came, curtains came down last night or early this morning. Of course, we finished at position four early. But look, we've managed two gold, just two, in Faith Kipiegon in 1500 meters and Emmanuel Correr in 800 meters. Actually for me, the highlight or the nini of this uh, tournament is Korir, Korir, because this is a man who did very well uh, uh, in Tokyo and is one of the prospects actually we are looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Remember 800 meters for long had been known for to be for David Rudisha, David Rudisha. a man who would run from gun to tape leading with the long steady steps and fi finish with the uh, energy and setting a world record, you all remember that. Mm -hmm. But now again in Rudisha's uh, absence or exit so to speak because basically we won't see him on the track again. We have Emmanuel Correr. Now, if we can go on to Silver Winnie, you realize we bagged four of them. And Helen Obiri in 10,000 meters, this is what Mukami was a leader. Minus to. hand of God. Absolutely. It was a dash. <laughs> uh, actually, at the tip there, very yes. close there. Then for me again, Judith Correr in the marathon, if you watch that race, mm. very difficult conditions. But she fought on bravely uh, to the last minute to bag us a silver. And again, that shows you that uh, these are some of the names we really need to look forward going into the next competition. Now, uh, Stanley Waidaka again did very, very well. Somebody for the future we can look forward to. Beatrice Chebet, uh, Mukami talked uh, about her, and Jacob Crop actually, 5,000 meters men just mm -hmm. this morning, mm -hmm. bagging silver. Over to bronze and uh, how we performed there. Kipruto, in a way, uh, for him it's a disappointment right. because people expected gold from him and he said as much. But now the most important thing for Kipruto is how he dusts himself from this, how he picks up and focuses on the next championship. Mary Mora uh, bronze this morning, I don't think it's so bad <coughs> because again, if you look at, uh, I think she's competed. She's had a very, very busy season and uh, bagging bronze in a world championship, in my view, is not bad. Now, Mora and Krop and Kipruto, they have one thing in common, age factor. Mm. is, is uh, They still have a lot of time to race. Mm. Now, You've asked about our performance in this and what we can draw from it. Mm. First things first, for me, I think when you're preparing an athlete for a major championship, there are three things here that would count. Managing time element, because in my view, I think AK thought they got the script right by holding the trials very late. And in this, they were trying to pick Team Kenya for Commonwealth Games and for World Championship, killing two birds with one stone. But you pick the team very, very late. Then we saw this last minute dash for, for travel documents, which in my way uh, uh, boomeranged on the, on the team. And two, again, when you have team going to a major championship and they're seeing uh, on the press everywhere negative press coverage regarding the travel, uh, joy riders and so forth, it has a knock-on effect on the athletes. And basically even those who went earlier were really preoccupied. Will Omanyala make it mm. on time? Will uh, uh, the boss to way make it on time? Mm. And remember even in Oregon, Kenya were trying to bid to win the 2025 World Championship rights. We lost that. To way wasn't there on time. So all this negative media noise, I think had an effect on the team. Then three, again, if you are going for this uh, assignment, I think we need to get the right conditions. I know the team were in a bubble camp at Kasarani, but again, we also have to look at what are the conditions in, in Oregon right now? What's the temperature vis-a-vis -vis Nairobi? Did they go into camp in the, in the, in the, in the, under the right uh, conditions? Then lastly now, we've talked about uh, Commonwealth Games. 
most of these athletes who are in Oregon actually are going to compete in Commonwealth. That's back to back. I'm not saying we have a very large squad mm -hmm. competing in this, but most of them are actually going to compete in these mm -hmm. two disciplines. Mm -hmm. So if you look at it holistically, you realize there are a number of factors which ha could have contributed to, to that <coughs> poor performance. That does not take away the fact that we are still- We still have some, house. yes. The last point I want mm. to bring out is, mm. and I've always talked about this, transition and planning for the future. Look at some of the stars who've done well in a world championship. Pick Helen Oberi. How old is she now, right? She's been the queen of 5,000 meters. In a few days from now, Obiri will be retiring from the track and even uh, the road races that she's transitioning to. Now, look at Julia Siego. How old is he? He's the man we've really relied on, Javelin. Then you come and look at the king of marathon, Eliud Kipchoge. How old is Kipchoge? So today, if we don't have Kipchoge, we don't have Obiri, we don't have Yego you see that there is a hole. There's a gaping hole there which needs to be filled. Mm. So Athletics Kenya must really move with speed mm. to start nurturing. And actually, they should have done this as of yesterday. With the exit of Kipchoge, we should have like <coughs> five strong men to take Who over. Who will run for Kenya, and this not Bahrain. Board. So we must plan early. <laughs> the next Olympic is not very far away. Yeah. And of course, the World Championship is after every two years. Right. All right. And so also, we have the question of the day here. We want to ask you, um, just uh, in general, uh, what are your thoughts about uh, Team Kenya's uh, performance at Oregon? Uh, the hashtag is Put Monday, hashtag Daybreak, SMS 2242. What are your thoughts on Team Kenya's performance at Oregon? Pia, ujue kwa siku tatu, tu, tunaingia Birmingham. And as you look, uh, you know, towards that, what are, what are your <coughs> what are your thoughts <laughs> of <laughs> Azarocho? <laughs> None of even their performance right now. Their performance, yes, but most importantly, going forward at uh, Birmingham. Remember, I remember the last time you had said you were confident that Omanyala in Birmingham is coming back with the gold. Do you still hold that position? Well, not necessarily a gold, but I'm, I'm expecting or a medal. I'm expecting a medal okay, okay. Uh, from uh, Omanyala the colleague. in, in uh, from, from my <laughs> colleague in, in Birmingham. But, but going back uh, a bit, uh, just the whatever uh, Swilla has given us, I, I think we need to learn from our past. Uh, we don't really learn from our past. Uh, I'll still go by our best performance in 2015 when we topped the table. You realize at that time we had surprises. We even had Nicholas Bett uh, performing so well in the 400 meters mm -hmm. hurdles. Mm -hmm. That was unheard of uh, in, in, in the Kenyan uh, expectations. We had the like of uh, uh, Julia Siego in, in, in the javelin. Uh, so as much as we look at our main features, we also need to explore outside the box. Mm. We need to make sure that uh, we target the other events. Look at the fact that uh, she was called Haivin Jepkemoi, the lady who won the 3,000 meter steeple chase. I'm once again talking about the steeple chase. And uh, I'd like to be hard on Swilla on this. As much as we talk much about the Federation, the Athletics Kenya, we need also to put that house in order. Uh, I'm challenging my colleagues in the fourth estate to challenge this uh, federation. This is one of the federations that okay. has not held an election for about 10 years. Mm. Uh, there's a court case going on, but us within the fraternity, we can as well uh, make sure that uh, even that judgment is, is hard and determined so that we have a substantive athletics Kenya federation. This will translate into the pitch. What um, Sule is talking about, transition. preparation, transition, it cannot happen if within the federation ranks, there's no transition. Yeah. So once again, I'm disappointed. If I was one of the guys who was polling uh, that, uh, the question, <laughs> I will say that I'm disappointed because I expected more from our team. Yeah. And Sally Finn Chespel, she ran in the 3,000 meters steeplechase. She said when she was at the warm-up track, there was no physio, there was none to attend to her because she wasn't feeling okay. Mm. In fact, Nora Jeruto from Kazakhstan. Yeah. <laughs> Kenya, Kenya born. Kenya born. Uh, Kenya born. <laughs> who, who has 31 million or so given to her, just Kwaku. <laughs> anyway, go on. She, uh, it was her coach who came and like sort of helped her and attended to her. And she decided, you know what, even though I'm not fully fit, let me just run. And she didn't perform according to the way she should have. And that's why you look at it and you're like, why wasn't there someone there to help her? You know, if we're complaining that some people have come on board as joy riders and then they don't have critical, you know, people like such as physios, there's a problem. And just to echo what Arocho said, 
it's absolutely insane that there's not been elections for 10 years. Just think of that in like a country, <laughs> the structure of a country mm, that's, that's so basically <laughs> a dictatorship, that's you right. know, and he, he's made a good point. We need to make more noise about it because we've been letting them get away with, mm. with a lot of these things. If you remember the Rio Olympics with NOC, everything that happened, how um, our own Wahiga Moura was able mm. to expose and see how much change has happened. If you just take a look at the Olympics and how prepared we were for them and how even the athletes themselves felt ready going onto the pitch and now we start comparing that with Athletics Kenya because once the athletes are the ones complaining, there's a problem. So you're seeing not, um, Athletics Kenya were able to hide under NOC because for the Olympics, it's NOC that's been taking charge of that. For the Commonwealth, it's NOC that's more or less taking charge of that. Right. And it's in the world championships that they're being exposed. You know, if we look at the people who performed well, Faith Kipiagon, I think there's no doubt in anyone's mind that she was the one who's going to get that gold medal. And that's solely based on, on, on her performance. Korir, um, you know, he had a, a tough start this season. He's not been able to win. But, you know, those mark of a champion where it's like, right. when it counts, I perform. I perform. And Con Kipruto is the same. For him to have gotten a bronze, I'm surprised because he's not been anywhere in the scene for so long, for so many years with all of his problems. But when it mattered most, when it was his, his, his title on the line, at least he fought and managed a bronze medal. So I think we really need to look at Athletics Kenya, you know, some of those people were embroiled in the fiasco yeah. at Rio and yeah. they're still the ones leading the federation. Um, I will not mention names, <laughs> but but we do really need to take a look at that. Yeah, yeah, definitely something we need to take a look at. Um, Shitara, also, your, as we as we move on, also your thoughts as we look towards uh, the Commonwealth Games. <coughs> I would say that um, I'll borrow your words. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times you fall. Mm. Uh, what matters <laughs> is how you pick yourself up. That's the true mark of a champion. Yes, yes. And we have that opportunity of picking uh, ourselves up, but again. Uh, even as we uh, lay the blame on the preparations, uh, the uh, federations, I think that is now where we uh, lack uh, the ability to follow what the law says because uh, lack of uh, transition at, at the federation has translated uh, to the track uh, and the field as a whole because now uh, we have now surrendered the steeplechase which mm. has been our mainstay for a long time actually as far as history is concerned now we have left it now to the moroccans have taken over uh, live alone the ethiopians so it is a very big wake-up call mm. and i doubt uh, if we really get it uh, right at Commonwealth because it's an extension of the mm. same preparation. Mm. And I believe uh, after the World Championships and the Co Commonwealth Games, uh, we really need to come back and uh, prepare because uh, you look at that, um, uh, the 17 medals that uh, uh, we won uh, in 2018, in it's a very coast, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a very big challenge even as we head into the Commonwealth Games uh, uh, in Birmingham. Uh, yes, we have, ha we have had the same preparation, uh, killing two birds with one stone, uh, selecting a team for the World Athletics Championship at the same time, doing the same for the Commonwealth Games. Again, it's a shortcoming uh, on the Federation because I believe we've le we, we left out some talents which should have uh, really performed very well at the uh, World, Afri World uh, at Athletics Championship. But again, at the same time, I want to echo the words of uh, Fred Arocho, that we really need to put <laughs> the government to Thank task, you. and uh, more specifically the, ca the government that is coming in. We've heard <laughs> them talk less of sports. Mm. Sports has been given a backbench. And, and this is on and all it's the camps. one that yes. unifies the yes. country the and most. It if there's one glory. thing uh, that unifies Actually, our politics country. has never brought yeah, us Yeah, and in most, cases, yeah. in most cases, in most cases, I would say, 
uh, we unite together in athletics, in yes. football, in At that time, everybody is yeah. out there, yeah. even cheering for yes. Akiprop, yes. Akipchoge. Yes. Actually, they this is the only Kenyans. event that makes Kenya's national anthem mm. sung in those imposing stadiums, mm. the whole world taking notice. It's and never. Seen, it has never been about our our, our nascent democracy. Mm. It has never been about I, I, getting our in elections. Fact, right. I hope. So my point is, uh, I will leave it to Arocho because he's <laughs> the author of uh, this statement. <laughs> uh, we've seen we've seen the government invests in roads, infrastructure, electricity, infrastructure, uh, agriculture. Yes, but it's time for the government to invest in sports. Uh, I've seen President Kenyatta uh, bidding farewell to State House staff, and he has tried in his few years uh, putting up some infrastructure in the name of- yes. Yeah, yeah, in the name of Ulinzi <laughs> Complex. Yeah, I'm giving example, Kirigiti, mm -hmm. Kirigiti Stadium mm -hmm. is coming up. So that is a very good indication of where we are going. But I want to say that the next government should give sports the biggest priority, going by what uh, uh, we are experiencing. Because uh, as we talk of preparations, uh, Kasarani is a stadium that was built, I think, now- the old now, Africa now, Games. Now leave alone, <laughs> leave alone the two decades, uh, Arsenal, not only on the EPL. <laughs> Kasarani, <laughs> Kasarani, was, Kasarani was built in 1987. Nyao Stadium was built in 1983. So we don't have uh, a state-of-the-art stadium in the year 2022. So that is the biggest uh, shame, I would say, and the, the government has exposed to the sports fraternity. Renovation and the priority now. number one in sports, let them give us only one. Let, let, let me pick it from state of the art stadium. stadium. Let me pick it from you. Before, one before I let only one. Uh, you in a question of how Imagine. far is that? Oh, from we just five. One, from five. We just one. Just one. <laughs> just one. Let, one. Me, let me pick it from there before I let uh, Mukami come in. I think the guys who are going to moderate uh, the presidential debate. They need to talk to even the sports journalists. We need to have at least two to three topics, uh, questions directed to this yeah. mm. uh, presidential uh, aspirant so that we can take if them to account. Up. If they will all show up. Yes. I think we are also, once again, we as journalists, we are also not really pushing. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm pleading to the guys who are going to moderate the presidential debate. Try and look for at least some two, three journalists to give you questions that we can address to Wajakoya, uh, to Raila Molodinga, to Uru, uh, sorry, to William Samoy Ruto, uh, so that we can take them to, to, to account. Because you'll, uh, you'll realize that all the questions that come in that debate are related to either agriculture, to the infrastructure, uh, to the... Which are important. Yeah, they are very important. But so is sports. Somebody needs to ask. I saw the... When uh, William Ruto had a debate, I saw... It is, so, it is very sad that the sports fraternity was given towards the tail end of that uh, debate. And uh, Innocent Mutiso was given, I think, two minutes to ask a question that is touching on the lives of thousands and thousands of youth. Mm. Let sports be addressed first. So that by, by the time they get tired, they're done with our sports. <laughs> 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 and I think also it's important to note as, as we bring in coming that by the way when we say sports, it is from athletics to hockey, to kabaddi, yes. to ajua, to everything. <laughs> but you see, yeah. even the infrastructure to hold the ajua and the kabaddi, look at the hockey stadium. Again, the oldest stadium we've had at City Park. You see, it is the only one that has been hosting the African championships. I mean, investment in sports. You see, I, I, I don't think uh, it's something that we should debate about. People are talking about uh, investing in the youth. People who participate in all sports are youth. Yeah. I can tell you 70% or 80% ni vijana. So where's the call on a target vijana? And you have zero concentration on sports and talent. Mm. So it is a web cup call. Uh, we've seen the manifestos. We've, we've not heard anything talking about uh, sports. We've not seen anything talking about uh, infrastructure, about sports. So we hope they'll have some time to amend 
uh, if, if an amendment, <laughs> if an amendment <laughs> to amend <laughs> their manifestos, both the presidential, all the presidential candidates mm. running from uh, Raila Odinga, William Ruto, Wajakoya, and uh, Wahiga, Wahiga, they have nothing solidly put on the table to address the issue of sports in this country. And yet, they are talking about the youth. Mm. And I think if we look at what Rwanda has done, that they, they should be a very good roadmap in terms of what sports can do for the country. Uh, you know, now there's the B Basketball African League that takes place, and mm. it's it's in Kigali, in their state of Kigali the art. Arena. I you know, mm. um, in, in, uh, Indo Arena, and it's it can host even international basketball matches. You know, if they decided to bring a, an NBA game. The World, World Cup. It can, yeah. it can, it can take part can in, that, yeah. in, in Rwanda. And it shows their teams are improving. Their volleyball team is improving. Their basketball team is improving. And it's due to that. Once you have those solid structures, you get better. You know, basketball, we have actually that capacity to play well in basketball. We saw it when, when we were able to enter the... The Morans. The Morans. Yeah, yeah. Mm. At the FIBA. But you're saying basket, now yeah. we take one step forward and three then steps three back. Behind. Yeah, because yeah, now sure. they couldn't even afford to go. <laughs> and the coach is gone. Yeah. I, I, I hear him coming. Unfortunately, we are benchmarking with Rwanda. It, it really pains me <laughs> to benchmark with Rwanda. But all said and done, we also have money. You know, the, uh, the fortunate thing is that the sports fund is there. I heard that the sports funds the other time was used to develop some hospital, well and good. But the big chunk of that money should be used to develop the very, very sport that is, is generating that fund. Mm. So that we, within the fort, uh, sports fraternity, can also, um, we, we can also fill uh, the weight of that sports fund. Mm. Yeah. But, but even the, but even the, the sports fund, we, 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 I don't blame uh, so much uh, the government on it because even the people we put to manage all right. these all these federations. <laughs> a minute, let me land. Let no, me I'm land. Smiling. Uh, smile, <laughs> smile as we go, smile as we go along. The people we put. We've just <coughs> talked about AK. They have not held elections in ten years. These are the people we want to hold accountable. The leaders we put to run our federations, can we at least for a second, not even for a minute, care about the young people? If you are given money, why would you direct it to your personal account? The money is meant to nurture talent. And I think this is where sometimes the government reaches and uh, starts moving in a slow motion because uh, as you speak of funding sports, the people who are running uh, these federations, they don't have the best interest of uh, the talents at heart. You are given money to, let's say, run a league in uh, uh, the local league, let's say, in Machakos. The money ends up in personal accounts. So I think accountability, honesty will take us a very long, long way. We were in Egypt with Mukami. Mukami will tell you that as young as five years, I will have identified that uh, you are good in football and you are taken into a football academy. A football academy is not a stadium. A football academy <laughs> has classrooms to take these young ones through the football lessons, probably from class one to class eight football, because it has theory and practical in the field. That is what we are talking about. Uh, we, we, we do not say that by, by, by having football talent that we build five stadia that our young, our young boys will be going straight to the field to play football. No, we need an academy where these young ones will be taken through the theory class and the practical class. And we have a long way to reach where Egypt is in the African continent, live alone. Uh, leave alone Spain in Europe. Hey. To wrap this up, Raburo, <laughs> in the interest of time, uh, one of our ardent actually viewers, Juma Kwaera, says, remind your panel that the Kenyan flag and national anthem are the most known in the world after those, that of the United States, courtesy of athletics Correct. and sports in general. And Correct. that's true. He just boils down to what I was saying. Mm. Our politics or democracy has never uh, done us proud. Mm. But to sum this up, actually, we mm. can talk and talk. And actually, Kenya is known for drawing master plans. What we <laughs> lack is one. And they are implemented What elsewhere. we lack is one. <laughs> Goodwill. Yes. 
even if today I came up with a very good manifesto regarding sports, but the goodwill isn't there, it's zero work. It will be implemented and that's, that's in Rwanda. That's the archive sale. <laughs> we change <laughs> over <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. We'll draw it here and it's implemented in another country. Absolutely. All right, let's talk in about Rwanda, to be moment. specific, Chan, we were given the rights to host Chan. <laughs> it was it, it, it was Rwanda in 2019. That's a so that shows you how uh, unprepared <laughs> we, we drew are. We with Rwanda just yeah? the other day. Yeah? With Kenya, our investors drew with Rwanda just the other day. <laughs> 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 All right, let's talk about Bomet and uh, the... And, uh, <laughs> and NSL, so many things are going through my mind. <laughs> things I want you to see. say, but let you me know, just, yeah. Let's talk about Bomet so yeah. we can move forward. Uh, yeah. uh, actually, Win will give us the graphics. <laughs> but you see, uh, the, the beauty of NSL is its competitive nature. Mm. Yeah, you, it's always full of twists and turns. Mm. And I know no, not many guys really follow it keenly. But the beauty is Bomet is in the KPL, the top division, mm. for the very, very first time. Mm. And the beauty is in that part of the world, people just associate it with, with athletics. athletics. Yeah. But now we have a team from that region coming to showcase football and in no other place than uh, KPL. So for me, that's uh, one of the highlights of the season. And the incoming county government of uh, Bomet needs to take lesson from that, see what to do so that we can have many Bomets coming up in the second tier and even the uh, top, top division. Uh, again, Muranga Seal, a team that has really been rising up uh, the blocks, uh, steady but sure, have actually finished uh, third in the regular season. So they're going to A team from Krinyaga yeah, too. Absolutely. They'll be competing in the playoff uh, later on to mm. know whether they'll get a, a slot in My, my question KPA. becomes... Mm. Uh, Yes, they've they've um, <laughs> they've qualified. They've qualified, but what have they qualified into? Yeah. Can I, can I, no, no, <laughs> there's, there's a playoff because FKF caretaker. That because, is the question. Okay, like, what is that? That's best? gonna open the Pandora box. Yeah. But the thing is, <laughs> okay, what I'm looking at, give these two teams the credit. That's, yes, uh, yes, of how on far the they've come uh, on the pitch, of mm, course, mm. Uh, the areas where they come from probably, mm. but somebody believed that I can build this from scratch. Mm. I can this, give these guys a platform to showcase their talent. Reminds me of uh, the discussion I had with one Laban Jobita uh, in Kisumu. Uh, Arocho knows his case because I think I was with him in that stadium. And Jobita tells me, told me, Swila, after KPLC, which is a state corporation, with the Drew from sponsoring the team, I've had to single-handedly keep this team afloat, even the second division. And it's not easy to run a football team mm. in any part of the world. Yeah, those who are in the sport will tell you. And he tells me, these boys are playing, not because I'm paying them wages or salaries, but for the love of the game they have. They probably feel I can be seen here, get opportunity to showcase mm. my talent, mm. and probably never know what will come out of it. Mm. Some of them just come because they have that platform they can compete. Mm. Probably all I give them is, is fair to come to training. Mm. So that's how dire the situation is. I know Ishitera is inching to go on Even on the issue of caretaker and <laughs> what not, <laughs> whatever it is. For me, for now, it's, it's a lost cause as at now because uh, uh, the good ambassador, uh, Mina Mohammed, is leaving office in around three weeks' time. Probably the incoming regime, if finds it fit, will retain her or bring somebody else. But that tells you this is a mess that is going to Somebody roll competent. on onto the next <laughs> administration. We hope. And uh, even the current, uh, are they caretaker still or interim? Whatever they are called. Transition, interim. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever is there probably. Their mandate is expiring in a week's time or yeah. so. Yeah. We are waiting to see if again the ambassador will uh, gazette. Before she leaves. But all said and done, I think uh, the musical chairs uh, is not really good for football. It's adding no value whatsoever because if you look at the mess that is in KPL, forget even the leadership squabbles between FIFA and, uh, and the Kenyan government. The leadership mess is because we've not have, ha, had men and women of vision on how to manage our clubs, on how to tap talent and, and take it forward. Because as I was talking about the paperwork or the visions or the manifestos or whatever Master you want to call it, yeah. mm. it's there in black and white. FKF knows it. The clubs knows it, CAF knows it. This is what they introduced, the CAF club licensing rules. Eight years ago, no one has implemented that in latent spirit. Mm. And there's no sign that these clubs are going to implement that. Mm. So before we implement that, actually, we won't really realize much. It will just be blame game, the calendar rolls in, failures, blame games, and 
things roll on? Mm. Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the people met. Uh, they've been very consistent <laughs> uh, to make sure that they're in the league. But I'm seeing a lot of squabbles. I'm seeing a lot of court cases. Uh, why am I saying so? Uh, as a twigger, as a giraffe. <laughs> as a seer. Yes. I'm seeing some people coming up with a lot of uh, issues. Mm. Uh, first of all, Kenya police and AP, mm. one entity in the same league, according to the... Um, uh, to the uh, some regulations, these are two entities from one uh, one body that need not to be in one league. I'm seeing guys bringing issues uh, about that, but why I, I'm reluctant to absolve that issue is how did they let these two teams play uh, in the top league and the and the and the, and the lower league and okay, expect to 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 disqualify them. The beauty of this National Super League this season is that there is no team from Nairobi. I'm so happy mm. that in the top four there is no team from Nairobi. I'm so disappointed that my team Shabana <laughs> did not make it to, to the Premier League. Uh, I, I like teams that are community-based because that's where the fan base is. Fortune Sako from Kirinyaga, good job. I hope and believe that the governor who is coming in, uh, coming in in Kirinyaga mm. will take up this team. This is the first team from Kirinyaga to be participating in the top league. Uh, Moroni Youth, um, unfortunate, they tried a very uh, good, they had a very good run. Unfortunately, they lost uh, points here and they there. Play, they play a lot of dirty games. Yes, they have dirty games, games uh, in, in Moroni. Out, yeah. uh, I have to call out uh, my friend Adagala. Yeah, that Adagala is, to be allowed. Yes, this year Adagala is doing a lot of this justice to the game. There's a team that was forced to warm out, to warm outside the stadium just before that match. Adagala, the only way... A is being bad pushed from, away yeah, from the stadium. That, that must Adagala, the only way you'll come back to the league if you play it fair and square. But the moment you start bringing issues, Hatuta Kwacha will make sure that we call you out. But once again, <laughs> the police uh, men... This in, is how we should be talking about athletics, Ken. Anyway, go on. <laughs> <laughs> the policemen in uh, Bomet, good job. I yes. hope that these guys will not bring that yeah. siasa that... AP and police cannot be the same. I, I don't think uh, it should be a cause because at some point we had Madara United and Madara Youth. Uh, in they, the had, they had to change. The they had to change some few uh, documents within. Yeah, I, I think I think that will happen. We should not uh, bar talent because. Uh, someone else is uh, inside that is coming from come uh, yes, on yes. but yes. what i want to uh, bring up is where raburu uh, uh, brought the point that yes they have qualified but into what mm. if you ask vihiga bullets uh, that question they will really give you a very good answer because uh, from that competitive uh, league they came to the premier league only to find that uh, it is something else. And this is where we are talking that uh, a top tier uh, competition should be well managed so that uh, the, the, the aspirations of our young talents uh, should be happy that they are getting into something good. And um, uh, to see uh, teams like uh, AP Bomet, as you say, no team from Nairobi, it brings back the memories yes. of uh, the Rivertex from Eldoret, uh, Eldoret KCC, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Mumias, Transcom, uh, Transcom Mafuko Bombas. This is what uh, we want back so that uh, our communities will be happy. And if you talk to mental health experts, they will tell you that uh, sports is... Uh, it's a, it's a therapy. It's another remedy. Yeah, it's a therapy. You see, uh, when you get into the field, you forget about uh, your problems. Uh, but if you don't have that field, that's why I'm saying the government really needs to uh, 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 invest in infrastructure. I, our young people are getting into drugs. They are getting into crime because they don't have something to do mm. they don't have somewhere to apply their energy you mm. see that that age uh, these young people are very energetic and if you give them a, a sports facility uh, they will have something to do before they go back at home to sleep uh, i was raised up uh, in nairobi and uh, we used to <laughs> we used to go for some uh, games at the social halls Many estates in Nairobi used to have social halls. Yes. If I can count how many social halls we have, probably it's Kariako. Mm. Uh, still existing? Yeah, still existing. Pumwani. Yeah, Pumwani. 
that is it. Uh, yes. The Pumuan is at Kariako, Pumuan yes. Social Hall, yeah. probably. Kaloleni? The, Kalo. No, Kaloleni is not there. No, where they're playing uh, boxing. Kaloleni is not there. Has it's it not been, there. Has it been grabbed? It's not there. I covered the story. It's okay. not there. It's a church now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. okay. So uh, oh. I can clearly tell you. And actually, there was also one in. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. It's in, uh, where they. Mudurua. Mudurua. Mudurua, Mudurua which think, was again mired in controversy. Yeah, it's Lee Social, it's Lee Social Hall. Uh, I think it's a flat. It's a mall now. It's a mall, yes. Um, and then now we come to the fields, the playing grounds. Mm. They were all over. We used to walk down to uh, Isili community to play football. Even uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm telling you I'm a product of mice. I used to... Raburu. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. Wait, I used... You see, you see, you see, you see when I tell you things, you think that I'm like... You don't look like... Ask, that ask, that wait, ask Arnold Origi. We used to play football. Uh, you with Origi? Yeah, yeah, ask him. Okay. Him actually, knows. actually, Chitera. he knows me. Actually, <laughs> actually, Origi uh, was my schoolmate. Yeah, I can clearly tell you. Ask him. Uh, you, you you have his number. Ask him. <laughs> Ask Arnold okay. Origi. Okay. Okay. Did you play? Did you play football with the? <laughs> he will tell you. We played. It's only that. It's only that. It's only that. It's only that. Kuna talent in Afrika mahali. E, mimi nilipiga direction nikasema acha nijaribu wana habari yeye akasema acha niendelee na my you calling. Lack the discipline and the No 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 I did not I did not I did not concentrate on my calling mm. uh, probably the reason why but um, uh, the point is we used to have those fields all over but if you can count them now it's a pity mm. uh, we really have nothing and let's not blame our young uh, boys and girls because we lack facilities to nurture their talents. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, the telecom grounds that were just opened recently, empty. I've not seen anyone using them. And that used to be a place where so many teams used to go and train and play football. So yeah. I think that's something that we need to look at. Yeah. And just in general, I think for Bowman, if a lot of the counties can pick up from what Vihiga did, you know, there's a point, there's Vihiga Bullets, there's Vihiga United, Vihiga Queens, you know, finding their way however, all the way to However, Egypt the challenge Mukami well. is, those the county government is not paying those players and is not paying the technical bench. Actually, there are a lot of issues which have been swept under the carpet. Mm. They've done well to bring these teams up. However, yeah. however, how do you maintain them and professionalizing money. The management? Yeah. Of that Give them money. It's a big, big yeah. problem. Yeah. All right, big. all right. We want to move on to uh, somebody who I am so happy for because I feel like he was always underrated, not mm. given his props. Underappreciated. But now I think time is it's it's his time his star continues to shine mm. that is Sadio Mane uh, still getting accolades now with a new salary new team yani he's doing well Sadio doing well. I think I think we can we can we can I hope he will be inter he will be acknowledged uh, the same way uh, at the international level the because international. now actually uh, that's a continental uh, accolade. Award, yeah. Uh, yeah. He has done so well. He has uh, won so much with Liverpool. He has uh, uh, pushed his team to the World Cup. He has won the AFCON. I hope he will be recognized at the world uh, platform. Uh, that is where now. And that he continues. That is now where uh, the elephant is. Mm -hmm. You see, for the me, elephant. for Sadio, it's not just about his, his talent, but what he is as a man, mm. what he stands for. And many times you uh, hear people say, we want a leader who says w what he means, the words he utters in public, he says what, what he, he means, utter, what he and what he utter in private. Mm. Some of them would promise this and mm. give you the glory in public, but in private, this says something different. If you look at the journey of Sadio Mane, and it's well documented, it's been written over and over again, you know, just the fact that he's a global superstar, but to me is the humanity in him. Yes. What is done for his Bambali village in Senegal. Same to Didier Drop. Yeah, where he said he couldn't afford meals. He was walking to school bare feet. His father died because he couldn't get proper medical attention. And now because God has blessed him with an opportunity to play at the top level and to earn some good money, he's giving back to the community. He's built a hospital. He's built schools. He's supporting the village. Yes. He's ensuring that my village can now be transformed thanks to what I'm earning. He's a star, a football star whom you won't spot 
uh, staggering out of a nightclub at 3 a.m. Mm. Uh, with the bevy of beauty surrounding him <laughs> or imbibing the, 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 the alcoholic <laughs> drinks. <laughs> You know, yeah, that stands no, out no. for us. Like, I'm not no, saying no, it's a crime. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I'm just making a point. It's a point. It's a guy, point. It's a very big point. No, no, no. What will happen now? I won't let you go with that. No, but, no, listen, but he has I a very... Personally, don't drink. Listen, no, he has, listen, wait, he has, listen, listen. No, no, no. What has, I'm saying, Arocho, wait. He's putting wait, a point home. Wait, wait. He's putting a point home. But the moment we talk about the beauties. What I'm saying... No, no, no. It's a fact. Beauties are welcome. I'm saying... No, they are welcome, but but he says, don't overdo. Personal discipline. Yes. what you're missing. As a sportsman. As a sportsman, I as an athlete, and even as a man. Yes. And this is where the difference is, uh, Arocho. You don't need to dispute I this. I beg to differ. If you look at the career of players <laughs> who've played at the top, they've been consistent every season. Discipline. It is discipline. Mm. You will never see Messi with this candles of nightclub. You will never you spot see, you don't know what it does Hold on, house. hold on, hold on. You, Let's not be a heckler, Arocho. Enough. Arocho, don't be a heckler. <laughs> Obje uh, be objective. So what I'm saying is, there Sadio, no Sadio Mane has but you discipline. See, uh, you, see why I, just hold on. you see why I will you agree to, I with you. I'll give you a point. I'll, 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 I'll give you an I example of a rising star yeah? in Lingard. So, because if you don't have the discipline, <laughs> it's making uh, uh, sense. A lot of sense. You want to make it to the top. Yeah. So I'm uh, saying at won't. 30, he can still challenge at the top, top yes, level. Yes. And actually, in the history of Bayern, he's the first actually Bayern player of uh, to win this kind of. Uh, uh, honor. The last play of Bayern who came close to winning such a, a gong was so Sami Kufo, Villa. but he didn't. So, kudos to Sadio Mane. Kudos. Well deserved. Well deserved. Of course, the English Catacy. press yeah. and Liverpool didn't give him the honor. They will not. Carpet. They will he not. He deserved. Just because he's Swilla, African. Swilla, so, Congole to Sadio. African. Let's make we are proud sure of that. that. And, yes, uh, black African. Yeah. This guy the can UK, only be the Arabic, So, it's a good, Ar good thing. Uh, Arab Africans are honored and given play of the year. Yeah, absolutely. We look at Riyad Mahrez. We yeah. look at Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah. Salah. It's black, and black players are given. From Africa, yeah. So, black kudos Africans. to Sadio Mane. I, I conquer with Swilla at least 85%. <laughs> I personally don't drink, I don't go to clubs, but surely... On the beauties? No, not even the about the beauties. <laughs> you know, Swilla just wants to be the more or less, more or or less uh, uh, a military uh, boss. Uh, no, I'm not no, saying... Wait, no, no, wait, no, 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 no. That's a wrong, wrong, wrong assertion. That's a wrong assertion. You spoke in silence. Swilla, <laughs> okay. uh, you, you're talking about the nightclub and all that. I'm with you as far as uh, what is done to his village. Yes. He's someone who even provided uh, 4G... Uh, internet Net, uh, yes. free for his people. He's even giving them stipends. He's giving them cash every month. 2,000 people in his village earn something every month from him. Yes. But coming back to you, the other side, I, I think this should just, it's a thin line though. It's a thin line between how you're going to be disciplined on the pitch and off the pitch, and ultimately how it um, it, it dictates how you you operate. Uh, I hope Mukami will. But do you uh, agree you're off the pitch? Yeah. In this I want to bring has, off the pitch is a very good effect you, you, on how you, you perform. It has. No, I've, I've just posed a question. You spoke in it's silence. True. It has. I, I hope uh, Mukami will support me here. <laughs> Having beauties. Because around, she's a beauty. No, 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 no. <laughs> Having beauties around you is not a crime. It's not a crime. There are several people. But who, with the discipline. Okay. The key uh, word I, is say, I feel in. like a good comparison that we can make is Sadio Mane and... Um, Lingard. Arsenal, no, no, no. Arsenal's Gabon, former... Obama. Obama Young. Obama yeah. Young. Obama. Pierre America Obama Young and Sadio Mane, both very talented, both Africans. And now if we compare in terms of, of what Sadio Mane has been able to do for his people, yes. you know, you can't, you can't even compare because Sad. even... You can only Even be compared to when one. When I was in Drogba. When no, in George Weah. You can only be compared to Drogba. Not Drogba. And the, uh, Drogba. And the night club. When, when, I was in, when I was in Liverpool, and, you know, I, I got a chance to speak to the fans, and they were asking us what, 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 what these sort of players, um, what they think of Asala and, and Sergio Mane. Most of them zeroed in on the fact that he, he has hospitals. Like, people know mm. that he's doing a lot of good. Abamayang missed African Cup of Nations getting COVID in Dubai because he was fighting. Discipline. So, you know, if you look at that, Gabon, but, but not leaving, not, 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 not leaving out, not leaving out, not leaving out Africa to congratulate South Africa uh, women uh, for winning the Africa.